A week ago I've joined Upwork, like the biggest freelancing website. And I think it's a really great platform for creative people like me to make money, so in my case, from photography and graphic design. But I want to share with you some interesting things that happened to me already in the first week, so let's get started. I was sending job proposals and it's pretty hard to even get reply back sometimes. I was ready to accept any job just to get some working history on my account. I posted let's say 20 job proposals for fairly good paying jobs, but after two days I still haven't been hired. So I decided to request some low paying jobs too, just to get started. So this is how I came across the offer that this video is all about, logo design for $5. I would never make a logo for $5, but as said, I just wanted to get my first job on Upwork, so I decided to do it and I sent a job proposal. In the job details he said that he already has a sketch of the logo and that he would need someone to make it in Illustrator. I got a reply back and fair enough, I was excited about it, even though the job was total garbage. He said, hello Jean, here is the sketch of the logo that we prepared for you. And this is what I got. I was in shock. But okay, whatever. Then he also sent few water market photos to me and said that he would like the logo to look like them. I was fine with that and wanted to start the job, so I asked him to accept me. He said that there are five freelancers competing for the design at the moment and that they are working on it as he speaks. So actually, they are working on it even though he haven't accepted them to do the job, which is pretty sad next to the basic fact that it's worth five dollars and that there is actually some work to be done. All of a sudden he wanted me to sketch my ideas so I gave him four different sketches in like five minutes because I knew it's not worth even a second more. But after that he said that he wants three more sketches from me and that he will announce the winner later that day. It was funny for me how he created this kind of competition with pre-work to be done for this 5 bucks worth of work. So hours passed by and in the evening he wrote me a message. Hello Mr. Stelmetsky, are you here? After the TAFL process, the commission came to a conclusion. Your work has been exceptional and you have been chosen to work on this task. We look forward to working with you. I replied in like 30 minutes because I was eating dinner at the time. After that, I haven't got a reply in more than 24 hours, and when I finally got it, it was something like this. We already picked someone else, we asked you if you were here, but you weren't there. After that, he sent me a message, in which he told me that he will send me a final logo from our designer, when it will be finished so I can tell him what I think about it. Clearly, he knew I have much more experience, probably. In the days in between when I was waiting for the logo from our designer to be sent to me, I actually got myself first real client and she was really amazing to work with so far and I'm really proud of this because I got the first job and it's actually well paid as well so two in one and what I'm doing is that I'm actually designing and posting on her brand new Instagram page which she wants to grow and that's all my job so if you want to check it out link in description at the end he actually sent me much better results as I thought he would get, but still, at least in my opinion, we can't even call this a logo. For example, look at the logos of some popular companies and then look at his. Pretty different, right? And that's because this logo designer who did the job for him didn't follow some basic rules about logo designing that I've personally learned through years of experience and four years of schooling for this. Sad enough, he rejected me and chose this designer, but okay, it's totally up to him who he had chosen at the end and it's his logo and his responsibility about how he'll appear as a company. Okay, so to wrap this video up, I'm not saying that the client or the designer are bad, totally opposite, I think all of them are awesome people to work with, so I just want to warn all of you that our community as a freelancers is heading a different and pretty weird direction in last years and this is that we're getting paid less and less for more and more work that we need to do and that we're not paid enough for our creativity and our years of experience that are behind 
the job that we are working on today so we needed to sacrifice a lot of time in the past so we get to the level where we can charge people so this should be included in the price as well as our creativity our ideas and all other stuff so we need to get the prices back up because if someone does the work for a very low price it's decreasing the prices for everything everyone because if someone does a logo for five bucks then everyone would expect their logo to be created for five bucks and in some time this would mean that everyone would be expecting that the logo costs five bucks and that's really not good for the community so the freelancers at that point wouldn't really exist anymore i believe because no one would be able to get enough money if they would be making logos for five bucks and if you are not aware of that logos can cost thousands of dollars without any problem i hope you've enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like and i will make sure that i will post more about my upwork journey so if you like this kind of con content make sure to subscribe and write a comment what about upwork would you like to learn next so subscribe comment like this video and also see you in the next one bye